Okay, so in this problem here, we have a class 0.58 of a bike, so many with a mobile phone, a laptop, some have both of each scenario, and some have none. This is a classic scenario of having a Venn diagram with three regions. So let's make a Venn diagram with my three regions as such. And we'll have my bicycle, my phone, and my laptop. And with these Venn diagrams, when I'm given percentages or probabilities, I always change them to counts, so it makes it easier for me to understand what's going on. So I'm going to make this 58 people, 50 mobile phones, 52 computers, and so on. Um, when I read this, four have none of these objects, so that is outside. I do not have any information about the very center. And my strategy when I have Venn diagrams is always start from the center and work my way out. So I am going to call this X. X means they have a bike, phone, and a laptop. And so when if I start reading this, I can now say that 28 have both a bike and a phone. So that's this one. So that means in here are 28 minus X people left. When I look at the 20, have a phone and a laptop, that's 20 minus X. And finally, 24 with a bike and a laptop. So this is 24 minus x here. Okay, so now going out to the final regions, the bike's phone, I know 58 have a bicycle. Well, that means that I have 58. That has to incorporate all these. To find just this, this region that is unmarked, it's going to be minus 24 minus x minus the 28 minus x minus x. And then I simplify this. Be careful with my parentheses. And when I do the 58 minus 24 and the minus the 28, I get 6 plus x plus x minus x, and it ends up with plus x. So in here is 6 plus x. Moving to the next one, a mobile phones have 50. Well, it's 50 minus 28 minus x minus minus 20 minus x minus x. Simplifying that, I end up with 50 minus 28 minus the 20 is 2. I got minus x or a plus x plus not and it has a negative x remaining. If I double check my arithmetic here, I realize that this should also be minus x, because there's three. Oh, hold on. This is plus x, plus x, minus x, so it's plus x. I can go minus plus x, plus x, minus x, plus x. I'm going to make sure I get that straight. Careless algebra. And then finally, 52. The 52 comprises of 52 minus the 24 minus x minus 20 minus x minus x. And again, it's 52 minus the 24 minus the 20, which gives me 8 plus x. So this is 8 plus x. This is 2 plus x and 6 plus x. And so now I have all these information, these categories, it all depends upon x. Each region is defined by x. And what I do know, these were percentage. So in total, I must, must have 100 people. So if I make one great big giant equation, I can say that 6 plus x plus 28 minus x plus 2 plus x. So every single region, make sure not to miss any, plus 24 subtract x plus x plus a 20 minus x plus an 8 plus x is has to be 100. And so now it's a matter of just collecting like terms and solving for x. If I put these together, 6 plus the 28 plus 2 plus 24 plus the 20 plus 8 is 88 
and that takes care of 6 plus 28 plus 2 plus 24 28 similarly I got well those cancel those canceled and those canceled and then so I'm just left with a plus X plus X equals 100 and so X is equal to 12 so that means in the center here is 12 so I can now replace all these values this is 12 this is going to be 16 this is going to be 18 and 14 and 8 and 12 and 20 and that a part is 12. Now B part says if a student has a mobile phone and a bicycle what's the probability of them finding a laptop? Well what is this actually asking? It says I want to find the probability of having a laptop of a laptop given that they have a mobile phone and a bike. So I'm only considering kids who have a mobile phone and a bicycle. Well, these kids here have mobile phones and bicycles. So there are 28 kids in total that have mobile phones and bicycles. Of those, how many have a laptop? Well, only these have a laptop. So it works out to 12 out of 28 which is the same as 6 over 14 students have a laptop given that they also have a mobile phone and a bicycle so using a conditional probability within these Venn diagrams